Scalp sores, breakage, hair falling out in chunks on women, even children, who blame their problems on the Monate hair care product line. I took a picture of my hair and I compared it to a picture of before I started Monet and my eyes just filled up with tears. Like it was so thin and it was stringy and I was just sick. Women like Erin Ostby here in Las Vegas, Heather Fox in Phoenix. It's devastating. And Amber Alabaster in Oklahoma City. Bald spots in the back of my hair. Say they watch their hopes for beautiful, healthy hair wash down the drain after using Monate. A mother in Canada sent us these pictures of her two-year-old son's abrupt and acute hair loss, including a doctor's diagnosis tying it directly to Monate shampoo. Heather Fox used it on her son, too. And right away he had a reaction to his scalp. He had big, red, open sores throughout his scalp. It was really itchy. Heather, Amber, and Aaron were all customers, but Aaron sold the products, too. She's what the company calls a market partner. I had over 100 people in my downline customers and market partners. Um, I reached up to my W-2 set of five figures in those eight months in additional income. So realizing what was happening was a hard pill to swallow. Her decision to stop selling Monate. I was crying to my husband. Didn't come easily. I was vacuuming every day because I was losing so much hair. And I, I think I was in denial. I didn't want to believe it was the product. All three women say their market partners told them. There's something wrong with you. You need to go to the doctor. So I did go to the doctor. I had a full panel done, um, blood work, everything. And there was nothing that pointed to a reason besides product use of why I lost my hair. They and consumers who complained online were told it was normal and part of a detox process documented here in the company's own sales literature. We don't, we no longer do that, neither do we, we don't do it. Monate would only agree to a recorded phone interview where they told us all the complaints just don't add up. To have this happen at such a short period of time statistically is impossible. They question consumer claims about their products. It's been a real challenge because we have seen the, the pictures online, we've, we've uh, heard the complaints, but we haven't seen any documentation that, of, of accuracy of, of a single one. There's a lot more to this story, including FDA adverse event reports, class action lawsuits, and more. Tomorrow, as our investigation continues, we examine all that and look at the ingredient some claim is dangerous to women. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.